Hello everyone. Um, just felt like doing a YouTube video today. Today is the Sabbath, El Sabado. Let's write that down. I have some note cards with me. El Sabado. El Sabado, the Sabbath, and you can see the Hebrew word for the Sabbath, which is Shabbat. So, the Sabbath or the day of rest was the seventh day of creation. And Jesus rested. Jesus is the creator. All things are through him. But on the seventh day he rested. And Saturday was the day of rest. But then the Catholic Church came along and made it um, Sunday. So the seventh day Adventists actually have it right. Um... Hope all is well. Let's get into the Word of God. So, where should we go today? This is kind of a random video. A call to persevere. Hebrews, that sounds cool. Hebrews 10, verse 19. A call to persevere. And so, dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. By his death, Jesus opened a new and life-giving way through the curtain into the most holy place. When Jesus died on the cross, the veil of the Ark of the Covenant was broke, was ripped, the shredded, the veil that covered the innermost holy place in the Ark of the Covenant. I believe that's true. If, I, if my understanding is correct, don't fault me if I'm wrong. I know a veil ripped, and that was because of the blood of Jesus. So, that's the most holy place. And I know that the Israelites had the tribe of Levi. There, there were 12 tribes, like the tribe of Dan, the tribe of... Um, Levi, the Levites, and they were the priests, okay? But the most holy place, that's the inner dwelling, that is, that is just sacred next to God. God within you. The Bible says your body is a temple of God. And that is actually the spirit of Antichrist. There's more than one Antichrist. There's millions and billions of spirits of Antichrist. I said it, millions and billions. There's not just going to be one Antichrist to rule. I don't know if that's going to happen. But the spirit of Antichrist is anything against Christ. And that's when you sit in your temple, your body, and you call yourself God. And I was into that for a little bit, into the occult and witchcraft, because my best friend at the time was calling himself God and had this enlightened knowledge of secret practices and rituals and stuff and I came out of that and I came out of the spirit of Antichrist so it got so bad that one morning I woke up and I felt something crawling on my bed it was invisible and I felt it walking up towards me and then it jumped on the floor and it happened two mornings in a row right after I woke up and we had no animals so the dark side is real, but Jesus, I am saved through the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And you can be too. Repent of your sins and ask Jesus into your life, into your heart. Jesus says, I stand at the door and knock. If any man shall open, I shall come inside and dine with him. But only the Levites were allowed into the most holy place. 
And that was the law of Moses, the Ten Commandments. Because Jesus hadn't died yet. Jesus was a blood sacrifice for our sins. Because after the fall, animal sacrifices were made to God to atone for sins. But Jesus atoned for everyone. So I think that's going to be it. That's a pretty cool video. And you all take care. Bye.